Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Weather Savants Wednesday. Today is December 14th. I can't believe we're halfway through the month already. Of course, Weather Savants is uh, my long range forecasting company that I have several clients for. And then I also do kind of some short and mid range monitoring on what's going on and what's going to happen. So, today, what we're going to do on this video is we are going to look at what's going on right now. We're going to look at next week because we have a lot of changes which are going to be rolling in. Then on top of that, we are going to do your long range forecast. We're going to go all the way through the month of January. I got Vinny here because him and his brother are fighting, which um, they like to do. And then they bark a lot and then they cause me to have stress. Don't you? All right. I also want to give a huge shout out to my guys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premium roofing contractor. They're family-owned. They're local, 7th and High in Joplin. And, of course, uh, I had them do my roof about a month ago. Uh, so give them a call. Number's right there on the screen. All right. Let's take a look. Let's see what is going on. Uh, this has been a very interesting storm system, and this will return in the pattern. Uh, of course, we got the showers, the thunderstorms yesterday, but look at on the back side, the upper level wave producing quite a bit of rain across central parts of Missouri, eastern Missouri, all the way down through Arkansas. And then again, today we got another severe threat down through southern parts of Mississippi. Look at the tornado warnings already going uh, across the region. So this is, an, I mean, look at these. So if we look at tornado warnings, just so you know, when you have the brighter red here, that is radar indicated tornado warnings. When you get these darker red polygons, these are confirmed tornadoes on the ground. Then if it goes to a purple one, that's showing us that we have a large tornado or a tornado emergency, but another big day in severe weather. So this is from Meridian, Mississippi, Hatters, Hattiesburg. Geez, I'm not familiar with this area too much. South of Jackson all the way down into Louisiana. So another big severe weather day for them. And then we go north. Check this out. We've had an ongoing blizzard across the northern parts of the plain. So Dakotas, uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, all the way up through Duluth has picked up quite a bit of snow as well. So a pretty big storm system. This will return. And I think next time it returns, this little back wave here across Missouri and Arkansas will be a little bit farther northwest. So that should be a snow event for us as we get a little bit deeper into the winter, which we're not even into the winter yet. All right, let's go through the rest of the afternoon. That rain pushes out of Missouri and Arkansas. Temperatures kind of hang into the mid 40s for us today. As we go through the overnight hours, pretty much clear skies. We're going to get some clouds up near Kansas City and Salina. Temperatures a little bit colder down into the upper 20s. A little bit cooler Thursday afternoon, high temps right around 40 degrees, kind of in and out of the clouds, but mainly dry across the four-state area. And then Friday, not bad, kind of chilly, high temps, mid to upper 30. So we're pretty quiet the next couple days. It's uh, really next week things start to pick up. So let's jump into that. Let's go all the way into Monday. We have a weak wave. This is does fit the pattern. It's a weak wave. It was a weak wave last time. It's going to be a weak wave this time. But with the weak wave, it still has enough energy to produce some rain over to a little bit of snow across the four-state area. So let's go into late Monday. Look at this. Temperatures above freezing for most of us, but a little rain-snow mix from northwest Arkansas, maybe down to Tulsa, Joplin, up toward Kansas City and Wichita. I don't think amounts would be very much, but in that kind of core, we could pick up a couple inches of snow. So that's something we're going to keep our eyes on as we go through the next few days. All right, let's go into the middle of next week. This is when it gets interesting. We start to warm back up by Wednesday, but we have a very strong, our first Arctic front of the year, and we're still trying to figure out how strong that Arctic front is going to be. But with it, we should get some moisture. So look at a little rain developing Wednesday night into Thursday morning. This could produce a band of snow from Wisconsin uh, through parts of Iowa all the way down into Kansas. So Kansas City, Topeka, Wichita, you guys may get a little bit of snow. As this front drives south, we could get a little bit of rain, snow, mix, or ice from Oklahoma City, Tulsa, up toward Joplin, Jeff City, and also into St. Louis. Amounts on this, this is too far out. But this is leading up to Christmas, so we want to watch this. But look at the temps. 
This is crazy. So look at Thursday evening. It's 17 in Joplin. It's 10 in Topeka. It's 10 in Kansas City. 15 in Wichita. And then look at the overnight lows. We go down into the single digits. So this is a strong, strong cold front. We just need to kind of keep our eyes on it as we go through the next few days. All right, long range forecast. We're watching next Monday and Tuesday. Arctic front rolls in late Wednesday, Wednesday night. Rain possibly over to snow next Wednesday into Thursday. This leaves cold temperatures around all the way into Christmas. And if we can get any snow, we would have a white Christmas. There's a chance. It's not a promise, right? It's not a promise, is it, Benny? All right, we do start to warm up a little bit after Christmas, and then we cool back down on the 30th and the 31st, which is leading into New Year's Eve. We do have rain and snow chances on the 30th and the 31st. Let's go into January. Mainly a cold first week. We do have rain and snow chances around the 3rd. Could be late 2nd, could be early 4th, around the 3rd. Week 2 is mainly a chilly week. We do have rain or snow chances on the 13th and 14th. I don't know what days of the week that is. Week three, mainly cold, rain and snow chances on the 18th and the 21st. So we are getting storm systems in here about every uh, six to 10 days, which is good. That keeps things pretty active. The last week is mainly going to be cool. We have rain and snow chances again on the 27th and 28th of the month. So that's kind of what we're looking at over about the next seven weeks. I'm going to do the long range forecast often on here, probably every other video. Plus, we'll get back to doing a weather question each and every day. Make, sh make sure you like, subscribe, and then hit that little bell. Of course, if you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, we pretty much do these weather savants videos each and every day. So uh, kind of kind of cool to watch and I get to break down some different things than what I normally do at KOM. I am going to be at KOM tonight. Of course, we're going to look at uh, the next week, 10 days, kind of with the new data coming in. So I'll be in at 5, 6, 9, and 10 tonight. Um, all right, guys. I hope you're having a great Wednesday afternoon.